Hello guys, today you will see a video number three of my mini series of five videos about freelancing as an excerpt from my course about my 15 years of freelancing. Topic of today is the video about what to do if the project goes wrong. It's a pretty common scenario, especially in freelancing project where the client and the freelancer don't have strong relationship yet and there is a quite a big possibility of a conflict. So what to do then? This video will talk about that. If you want the full course, the link will be in the description below. If you have any comments, share them below the video. What to do if the project went wrong? Fire bad clients. One of the biggest problems during freelancing projects is when something goes wrong. It's the so-called messy middle, and it happens in almost every project. It's just a question of how big the problems are and how badly things go wrong. Generally, it's a conflict with a client about the scope of the project, which is changing unexpectedly. Usually, not everything is successfully thought of at the beginning of the project, and new details come up, requirements change, clients change their minds, and then the developer needs to deal with that. The default reaction of the developer is anger, which leads to conflict with the client. We often see rants by developers on social media like, clients change their mind, they don't understand what they want, why I have to work for free, clients this, clients that, etc. In other words, the problem is miscalculation of the timeline, so you realize that you would not meet the deadline. You have to change either the scope, the deadline, or the budget. This is direct conflict with the client. Someone needs to work for free or to pay extra. What to do in such situation? Of course, it depends on who miscalculated that part, whether it's your technical mistake or the client's scoping mistake. Often it is both and it is messy. But the question should not be about who is to blame. The question should be, what can we do? together with the client, not against the client. You should not start a war against the client. And that's my probably overall advice. Communicate with the client often and tell them about potential problems as soon as you see them. Most importantly, be honest. Honesty and openness go a long way. Whenever I had such situations, when I went into open conflict with a client, it went badly from there. Whenever I went to a client with an honest evaluation of the situation, just openly and humanly friendly talking about that, then the other side also open up with friendliness. Then we discuss the situation and came up with a solution. So rule number one is that you shouldn't actively start or escalate the conflict. Of course, there may be situations when the client is demanding more features, more free work, and doesn't want even to listen to your side of the things. Then they may be qualified as bad clients or I call them red flag clients and you have an option to fire the client. It sounds pretty weird, right? Usually developers are fired from the project, but it could be the other way around as well. I've had a few situations like this over my freelancing career when the client was openly angry, demanding and not friendly at all. A few times I had left the project, leaving the money on the table, intending to find new, better clients. It's pretty hard to do psychologically and often it means that you would not earn potential money for that project. But that money could be earned elsewhere. In some projects, you would need to put three times amount of effort to get that $1,000, for example. Instead, you can spend that energy and time to earn the same money with a new client. When dealing with conflict, it's really important to have a written conversation from the past. This is where we get back to the thought about the contract. It's not about signing the contract itself for legal reasons, but it is to have a written document about what was agreed upon. After a month or two, you will totally not remember the exact conversation that happened during the first days. So if the client changes their mind, you need to show the initial conversation and show them that their opinion was different. Therefore, it requires extra work and should cost more now. And if the new feature or new change is inevitable, then negotiate on something else. You can change the deadline by adding a few more days, you can simplify the functionality of new features, or you can change other features, what may be removed or postponed. Also think about non-standard solutions, like you can reach the same result for the user by not coding new features. Maybe you can solve some problems by doing something manually once without the code, like exporting the data somewhere. In other words, be creative and not blindly listening to the client.